All right, as you guys can see, we've washed our, our primary mirror and um, I just got done sticking the center spot on um, the primary and basically all I did was I just took the, the template, cut out a little, um, you know, I looked at, at all four of the little triangles. I found the one that, that was pretty much stamped out the best and uh, and I took, you can see I just cut the, the little back in there a little bit and uh, did just like the instructions say, take a little piece of scotch tape and uh, and put your template down. It's got a little mark that your triangle lines up in. Put your template down on that and um, take the, the scotch tape and sticks the, the sticker to it and uh and then you just it, it took a little bit and you really need to make sure you take your time with it um but to really make sure that you get your lines lined up um you know symmetrically on your your primary and uh and then you just you know i just had my, my girlfriend come here and she just stuck it down on there so um and just take and because you're protected by the by the acetate or the whatever the clear film there you can just kind of just press down on it good and hard and make sure you got a good seal to it and you ain't gotta worry about spotting up your mirror and uh, and then just like that now I'm gonna set this just back over top you don't want to really talk at your your mirror I know that kind of sounds funny you don't really want to talk directed to your mirror because you do spit and condensate and everything else as you're talking and whatever so um but that that was pretty much it you can see the the deal dog ear the the, the piece of tape so you can pull it off your template and you can take your template and store it in a safe spot for uh, the next time and it's pretty cool that they give you four of those uh, center spots, you know, and you can you can do that if you pull off your deal and you need to just re Just recheck just take your cotton bud and Just kind of Press down and Like so I just, I, you just see me. I just sit there and said not to, not to breathe on it or talk toward it. Here I am doing that on a clean mirror. One more of advice: be a little cautious if you use the little cotton bud here, um, because the sticker, it will collect some of the little fibers from it. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll fix that here in a second. But, uh, matter of fact, I'll probably do that right now. Let's just take a piece of scotch tape. Just do that. And now I got some sticky residue on there. See, it's a never ending process. Um, it's a never ending process as far as trying to get your primary clean that's where you take your your micro fiber little TV cloth here and you just yeah I done made a I done made a freaking mess now um, but pretty much now what I'm gonna do once I get this tape residue off it never never fails um, and just kind of take your old cotton bud here, put a little bit of pressure on that. I can't get that off. So definitely don't use tape. Um, to try to remove threads and I don't know not even with your template on here um, press it down you can sit there and take your finger and dab 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 
and uh, and get that thing pressed down and uh, and then if you need to do any anything else use your microfiber cloth because I'm having to press now pretty hard on the mirror to try to get that sticky thing on tape residue off now and now I've completely pretty much um, covered my mirror because I'm talking while I'm doing this and there you have it pretty much uh, some scratches on this mirror but I don't really know that it's gonna I don't think the very small little tiny scratches will affect it um, see a few little imperfections here and there but uh but all in all it looks pretty looks pretty good cleaning it really turned out good um, just keep in mind you don't want to put a lot of pressure when you're pressing down But anyway, that's the, the centering. That's doing the centering spot on it. And uh, now we're going to reassemble this thing, this mirror cell, and uh, put it back in the, the tube. Now that I deem this thing is fairly clean, it looks really good. I don't see any spots anywhere on it. So as I'm looking at it, I'm trying not to talk in the same direction. But anyway. Um, we gotta put our little rubbery little pieces in here. About like that. About like that. About like that. And then we gotta be extra careful and put our, line up our little mark there. put our retainer ring back on and I did go um, I got a comment from one of the guys um, that watched the one of the videos and he was talking about the stainless steel and the aluminum rusting or um, seizing up and was kind of wondering if I'd put any um, any seize or anything on the, the bolts and I mean you can um, you know I deal with, with hardware every day in my job and uh, I don't think it's an issue with the stainless steel um, in the aluminum or um, as far as this thing maybe rusting or anything because let's face it this thing should never get really wet enough to make the hardware rust and the stainless won't never rust because it's stainless steel the only thing that you do have to be careful of is uh, it does create an oxidation of the aluminum because metal and aluminum react and uh, you may have a little a little issue with it seizing, but I don't think it'll ever be an issue um, as far as that goes. So I um, just wanted to just kind of share that with you guys after I thought about it in the comment. And it, it was a good comment and it's very valid um, as far as that goes. Um, but for what we're doing, I don't think it's going to be an issue um, whatsoever. We'll just get our screw started here and once I get this done um, I'm gonna black out the heads and uh, folks be very careful uh, messing around with these screws over your primer if you drop one of these screws on your primer it's gonna probably chip it or scratch it so do be careful um, and once I get this done I'll uh, get this put back in the, the back of the scope um, I've got something else I'm going to show you here in just a minute too before we um, move on to putting this back in the back of the scope and uh, I'll get to that here in just a second um, so see you in just a minute 